iOS 18, the public beta, is finally out. And this is honestly not a bad beta at all. It's been very stable for me. I've been using it for a few days now. Honestly, the battery life is exactly the same as the battery I would have had before the beta. And so th that's incredible to me. I honestly thought it'd be so much worse, but it's not at all. It's been a very stable beta. I've been able to do everything I want to do on it. What the home screen design is now, I love the colors. I do wish certain things were updated though. Look at that. I hate this, the fully tinted red. It's just not great. A lot of my apps are like that. It's about half and half. It's kind of irritating. Other than that, that is my biggest gripe with how the home screen looks. But as you can see, you can now change the icons on the bottom. Now I can open music. Same thing with the action button. Action button now is you can just choose whatever controls you want. And the controls I honestly think are kind of weird. So you can choose, you know, the basic airplane mode, that cellular data, the stuff that you get from the control center. You can get things like that. You can get clock and alarm, dark mode, they could choose random apps like music, home, notes, but you can't choose all of your apps. So that's irritating. I would love it if they added, you can open any app. I would love to be able to open my messages app directly from my action button or from one of the side buttons on the bottom. I think that'd be really cool. I think that'd be very useful. That's what I've definitely used. I'm gonna hold it down, I customize. Put my picture of Darth Revan. I'm gonna take that out add these are the apps you can add to the home screen same basic apps a lot of your utilities flashlight camera which honestly i'm kind of missing having the flashlight and camera on the front but i want to be different just for the sake of being different quick notes but not i wish you could open a certain note what you can do though and it's a workaround of course with apple it's always a workaround use shortcuts open an app using a shortcut open any app using a shortcut so that is really nice that is a decent feature but you do have to set up that shortcut i feel like that would get kind of annoying over time though. You use your voice memos a lot, you can do that. Ping my watch, it can be on the front. So that's actually a really cool feature. I like that a lot. There's a couple of hearing accessibility options. If they had the motion control features, I would love that. The emotion sickness controls when you're driving, I would love to add that to my home screen but can't add that. So that's really irritating. What you can do though, is add it through the control center. Control center also has a lot of different features that you can add. Here on the bottom left, I have the motion controls. I have music haptics. That, that works okay. It's not the best thing. Flashlight's pretty cool. You can add a control and you have a lot of different features. You have a slide bar for text size, you have flashlight, you have timer, you have an alarm, stopwatch, you have everything really. It would be cool to add a certain app directly to the control center. I don't know what use it would be, but it would be, it feels like something that's missing. You can add a now playing widget, which most people already have that in their control center. I do love the use of different colors in the control center now. It is very nice, it's very cool. Ping my watch is now added to the control center, background sounds, music haptics, a lot of stuff that wasn't available before and third-party apps are going to have access to this feature. Currently, I don't have any third-party apps that are using this, but soon, eventually, a lot of them will make use of this. And of course, you can change the different size of things. So that, I think that's kind of cool. Another really nice feature is you can change the size of the widget. I can have a full-size widget. I can have a small widget. It makes it super easy. You can change where your apps go. And of course, they always like to snap to a grid. That gets annoying. Edit, customize. The small icons are cool. They're honestly not bad. The large ones, I like them better. I guess it gives it a different feature, a different style design. Again, be different for the sake of being different. I really do like the dark mode, but unfortunately half the apps support it, half don't. I don't know why Wells Fargo and the Bible haven't supported it, but the freaking Costco app supports it. The map app barely supports it. So that's kind of weird. It's kind of annoying. It's kind of stupid in my opinion. I feel like Apple should make it a thing where every app is required to do it, but that is just me, which is why it looks so much cooler when you do the tinted. And of course I lost the color tint I used. So I need to go back, choose. I want the color of the lightsaber. So what do you guys think of the Acolyte? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course now the, the home screen saver is a lot darker, which it that drives me insane. So you just have to go back to edit, customize, hit the little sun icon there and it brightens it. Darkens, brightens. So that is iOS 18 public beta. So a lot of really cool random features. Very, very stable beta. Most stable beta I've ever used. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm Jake, this is Shot on My Phone.